this video is copyrighted and I'm uploading it copyrighted anyway. I know I'm not gonna make money off it, but it makes the experience better and for the sake of content, we're keeping in the copyright shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Jujutsu Kaisen took over the internet over the last couple of months. Now, I didn't cover it much as it was airing for many reasons, including those that I don't want to share with you. However, the internet completely warped Jujutsu Kaisen and lobotomized the entire internet through it. Dude, lobotomy Kaisen is something of magnitudes, bro. If you have seen the Gojo figure incident, then you have seen too much on the internet. Now, we are not going to be going into the actual Jujutsu Kaisen story today on this adventure. We're going to be looking at Leo Armada's video, What the Internet Did to Jujutsu Kaisen. I wanted to announce a new series on the Nuxanor channel that I'm hoping on starting, and this is up to you. Let me know in the comments if you want this. Overanalyzing anime. So this is not going to be reacting to episodes as they come out. It will be overanalyzing past anime episodes that aired before. And I was thinking of starting with Jujutsu Kaisen or One Punch Man. Let me know if you want me to do that. Overanalyzing Jujutsu Kaisen, going episode by episode, talking about why it's just, it's fucking peak. So let's get right into it, baby. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, I can't believe how many memes JJK's freaking spewed onto the world. Please tell me the tampon blood thing isn't real. Nah, I'd Pentius. Bro. Insane. If you thought Gojo West, malevolent homelessness, and GTA Gojo mod was something you'd never imagine in your- I didn't even know these things were all real! I'm telling you, I've been off Twitter, cultivating my mental health and sanity. I didn't know this was happening! Wildest fever dreams? Well, uh, let me tell ya. <laughs> Bro, the now nah, I'd win meme is insane. Bro, you do not have I, Hoshino, saying now nah, I'd win in the first- Oh my god, you do not- <laughs> this is this is why it's called lobotomy kaisen this freaking insane community the insanity is only going to get worse once upon a time jujutsu kaisen used to be a very innocent and cheerful manga and respected and the community was wholesome and nothing weird happened at all and then the period blood incident happened with goofy characters equally odd villains and plot but something flipped in gege's head Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We get it. We get it. It's brutal. It's graphic. It's horrible. Oh lord. Have mercy on our souls. Shibuya happened. The Shibuya incident didn't just change the minds of characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. The Shibuya incident changed the world all. Who knows why Yakutami started to hate his fan base? Who knows why he decided to traumatize us by killing half of the cat? <laughs> Bro, he's just trolling at this point! Bro, you got all these badass characters in Jujutsu Kaisen being all excited about what they're gonna do in the future, talking about their dreams for future arcs, and then you have freaking the mangaka. Nah, I'd win. But one thing's for certain, the fan base didn't take it lightly. <laughs> no, they did not. <laughs> like other oh, communities right, yeah. who would have just buckled under this pressure, the JJK fan. Right, dude, you have, you have a good, good example didn't there. Didn't take it lightly. Unlike other. Right, Akamega Kill was such a massive series when it was airing. No one today even heard of Akamega Kill. They killed off a ton of the cast uh, out of nowhere. Everyone died. It was like, what the frick happened? Like, no one was satisfied. And the entire fandom collectively had a cult suicide moment. We're not, well, let's not talk about that. But the, everyone here that heard of a comic get killed, just they've seen the, it, the S death hentai. And that's it. Communities who would have just buckled under this pressure. The and then Jujutsu Kaisen was like, nah, I'd win. JJK fanbase seemingly overnight spawned hundreds of memes. Nah, I'd get a lobotomy. Sketches, animations, and parodies in hopes of dulling the pain. But I assure you, it's a great plan. Oh, it's a shower thought, I see. I thought we talked about this. What? The madness spawned by the manga <laughs> and the anime, ironically covering two of the most depressing arcs at the same time. I don't know what you're talking about. Creates the rabbit hole. The Shibuya incident was not depressing it was based and awesome and uh it helped me very much it helped me uh, appreciate that loss is inevitable and it, it i've grown so much from it i finished watching that arc and then I, I sat down i made myself a really strong cup of coffee and then i started singing to myself that i'm a loser baby loser garden baby and i just i realized i recognized the fleeting existence that i am inhabiting it taught me no one is safe it taught me nothing is sacred and then i got a lobotomy and now i don't look at twitter anymore it's been a dub it's all in all it's been great oh well, wait deeper than you could possibly imagine. Original memes got remixed into something else, and those remixes further got remixed, sparking a never-ending chain reaction right. of the fanbase mimifying every single painful frame until it was- <laughs> 
Wow! All new recognizable. The <laughs> this is, it's insane how wild this community got. God, I'm so happy this video exists. Rabbit hole goes so deep, in fact, that I somehow managed to not only find, but also interview the man who popularized the infamous Chogo illustration. No way, that's crazy. Now the real question arises. How nah, I take back shots. How the f did we get here? Nah, I'd Pentius. There are many factors at play here, with each meme tying back to certain events within the manga and the anime simultaneously. So join me as we dive into this cursed, never ending landscape of, of Lobotomy Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen. I think that the Jujutsu Kaisen fandom might be my favorite anime fandom of all time. And I say that as a guy that's been shitting on anime fandoms for before, before it became a trend. I started the trend of shitting on anime fandoms. And Jujutsu Kaisen is my favorite fandom just because the brain rot is so unabashed. It's like freaking My Hero Academia fans. Those guys are brutally in like they, those guys suck, man. <laughs> they I get death threats to this day because I said Deku is a shitty main character. This fandom rocks, okay? They are awesome. They are brain rot and they know it. You are my special. You are my special. No, what the- wait, 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 I saw a crazy one, wait, wait, wait. Nah, I'd win. Salmon. Nah, I'd win. Nah, I'd win. Nah, uh -uh. I'd take back shots. Nah, I'd win. Wait, I skipped the now nah, I'd groom one. Whatever. Whatever! Dude, you thought that Adventure Time was a drug trip? Have you tried snorting some JJK fans? Nah, I'd win. Let's start off- Those simple words! Words that changed society forever! Nah, I'd have sex with everyone. With what is probably the single most iconic phrase in any manga. Nah, I'd win. The famous words- Like, it's such a gimmicky phrase. You have so many badass lines in manga, okay? And the fact that this is by far- Dude, this is- This happened the same year of I have no enemies, okay? Thorfinn saying I have no enemies is probably one of the most iconic scenes in the history of manga. Like, actual pants shittingly awesome. And nah, I'd win became somehow more revolutionary of a line. Uttered by Satoru Gojo right before his fight with Sukuna. On its own, it doesn't really mean much, but with the context of the following fight- yeah, spoilers. It's... it's rough. It's rough, all right. Gojo and Sukuna square off and begin their greatly anticipated fight. They the boss would win. They throw hands, buildings fly, and both of them destroy each other. So far, it is very good. Both Sukuna fans and Gojo fans are enjoying this fight. Oh, but yeah. then, Sukuna summons Mahraga. And the other Shinigami, but no one gives a fuck. The fan base instantly starts to dog on Sukuna, calling him Fraud Kuna. Fraud Kuna! <laughs> no, wait, I love those videos. Everyone was going crazy. Bro, it's the f I alone am the fraudulent one. Guys, people were going insane. <laughs> fuck. Fraud Kuna, really? Fraud Joe Goat versus Fraud Kuna. Dude, you have no idea how insane people were during this fight. This isn't the only cringy thing going around recently. There's another term related to Kenjaku. If you're unfamiliar with the manga, or have simply forgotten, bless your soul, Kenjaku is the mother of Yuji, so the fanbase likes to roast him with the following. Kenjaku had to take the white splash oh, so that Yuji my. could use the black flash. Ho Got him. Holy shit. This, this isn't even the wildest part of the video, by the way. Dude, there is so much porn. And it's like, it's not even sexy porn, it's just insulting porn. I, someone told me about that. I don't actually know that myself. It's just that's, This is something I've heard from a friend. Back to the fight. Sukuna got even more slander by the fact that Gojo was still whooping his ass, making 400 IQ moves like maneuvering red and blue out of Sukuna's sight and combining them while killing one of Sukuna's Shikigami. Wow, fraud Kuna getting annihilated. Lobotomy Taku, oh my god. As Gojo forms hollow purple, it lands on Sukuna, unleashing a saturated white that envelops everything. And as the dust settles, Sukuna looks better than Bro. bruised. As the narrator announces Gojo's Gojo victory, won. the fight Fraud is Kuna. over. Gojo wins. But um, 
Uh, as it turns out, the fight is not over yet. Surprise! Nah, I'd win was the biggest cap in anime history. It was actually Gojover. Before we get oh into that, my God, this fight dude. sparked so much creativity in the animation community as people drew yeah. countless. People were going crazy animating this shit. It was probably it, it's the new Madara versus Five Kage fight. Short clips of Gojo versus Sukuna. Some were popular tour animations, while others were fully fledged productions. This is probably the only bit of positive art made by the community because every <laughs> no how could you say that dude no i think after this are just they're just fucking cursed man the following chapter begins with gojo talking to ghetto what why wait 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 wait, wait. This, doesn't, this doesn't make sense what the fuck is happening uh, no no ghetto's dead why is nanabi there why is toji there nah that you got me fucked oh, up no no no, no. Yeah, that just happened. Gojo got off screen. Despite Sukuna ex It's Gojo over, guys. They killed him off screen. Oh my god, that period blood was so wasted. Explaining how he won, this left a lot of people with a bad taste in their mouth. Partly because Gojo died, but more importantly, Yo, the way he died. More. It was so scuffed that this caused the first wave of memification. Yeah, it was so crazy. The lobotomy started. Gojo's corpse didn't even get the chance to turn cold before the humiliations came in. People consistently got to work by generating clown memes, Kit Kat and Among Us. Oh no, not Among Us! Things. The community made hundreds of variants of the same exact image. Hell, they even dragged Attack on Titan and One Piece into it. This monumental event of Gojo's death sparked, I sh you not, a f***ing funeral to be thrown for Gojo in Shibuya. No way, I didn't know about this. Who brought flowers and cats? Candles to no way! What? That's insane! My boy! They also went out of the way to find the real life locations of where Gojo and Ghetto broke up, so you know that KFC has infinite stonks. The impact doesn't oh end there, God, by the way, because this was so big that everyone got spoiled. Absolutely everyone. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I wasn't even reading the manga at that point. Like, I read the Shibuya arc back in the day after the first season. I didn't get this far. I have a really hard time keeping up with manga weekly. Like, I'll binge it till it's up to, and then I'll, like, fall off for a couple of months. I did not know, but I got spoiled immediately. I, I don't look for spoilers. I'm not even on Twitter, but my god would they spoil me quickly. Everyone got spoiled about Gojo, because these edits were so intertwined with other mangas to the point where the algorithms couldn't even- Dude, you don't understand! You just start reading one thing and all of a sudden you see Gojo being Gojo over! Like, you literally cannot escape this one. Recognized that these were Jujutsu Kaisen memes. They thought it was One Piece or Attack on Titan, so even non-Jujutsu Kaisen fans got spoiled. It was insane! But the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. Remember the nah, I'd win me my quote before? Yeah, that's about to get a whole lot crazier. Yeah, because, well, surprise, he uh, didn't. As the strongest curse, Jogoat, fought the fraud, the king of curses, he began no. to open his domain. Sukuna shrunk back in fear, <laughs> then Jogo said, Stand proud, Sukuna. You are strong. Oh my god, dude! But the, the hilarious part of the brain rot here is that this dude here, Gojo, not Jogo, not Gojo, Jogo. First of all, they did not need to make their name sound so similar. But dude, they made this guy here, Volcano Guy, the guy that was in two fights in the entire series and lost both of them. They turned him into the honored one. Jogoat. Bro, this is like the ultimate Lord Twigo moment. I feel like this this is what Lord Twigo deserved. If I, if I would have just been a little more popular when I started the Lord Twigo meme, bro, it would have been Twig over. Your eyes are not deceiving you. This is indeed a cross between Gojo and Jogo. Yeah, no, no, no one in this chat remembers that the Lord Twigo meme. There's no way anyone was still around back in the day. <laughs> this abomination has its own Wikipedia page, and according to the lore, he is the strongest cursed spirit in the entire J. He has his own Wikipedia page. Joe Goat! No way! No way! JK Universe. The only reason why this creature was created is so that Gojo fanboys can cope in this Sukuna. That's why in every single edit it depicts Joe Goat destroying Sukuna. People really went out of their way to make custom frames and animations, reversing the roles of Sukuna and Jogo. It is it is comedy gold, bro. 
I'm a Gojo fan as well, but funny man, as hell. how much copium are you people taking? The reason why Jogo of all people got elevated is because moments before this massive fight with Sukuna, he blitzed Maki, the Zenin Mappa animator. Right, dude, Jogo was like really overpowered. He was like a really powerful guy. It just happens to be he fought the two strongest guys in the series and got absolutely annihilated by both of them. So Joe Copium became Joe Goat. Dude, and our beloved character Nanami. So instead of being dogged on, the guy just got elevated to godhood. This is the section where I interview fake Discord gamer about the Joe Goat illustration. I was under the impression that he drew it, that's why he asked him, what made you draw Joe Goat? But his answer was quite something. No, I just found it on some random Discord server and then posted it on the Jujutsu folk because I thought it was pretty funny and I wanted to give credits to the original baker, but apparently the owner deleted their account for an unknown reason, Bro. so yeah, I guess it's mine now, since the owner wasn't there. Does it count though? Then I asked him a question. Did you expect this to blow up? No, I did not expect it to blow up, since I thought it was just another cursed meme to look at, but as time passed, someone in Chainsaw Folk pointed it out to me and said it that I'm the one who made it into the lessons in meme culture video, so I was like, holy shit! Yo, could, could someone please get us a Lord Tweegoat? Could someone please draw Lord Tweegoat in that, that form with the Nide win in that art style? That would be awesome. And finally, the last question was, how do you feel that it made a subgenre of Juju Tsukaisen memes. You know the one scene where Anakin says, What have I done? Yeah, that's how I felt when people found out that I caused this brain rot and variety of <laughs> not memes. So yeah. No one ever asks where the meme starts. Dude, that's what I love about memes. Self-propagated by the community. Based on the brain rot that every community member shares. Every single show. Every fandom. Every community. These are people that are like-minded to some degree and share the same level of brain rot that brought them together. And it's that that brings them together that will help them propagate the most degenerate and inhumane bullshit garbage of all time. One guy made Bowsette. One guy made Bowsette. And they started a, a fucking cum cult. Okay? And now for something completely different. Along with Gojo, Jogo, and Sukuna, one other character gained a lot of notoriety in the JJK fandom. Even anime onlys have seen him. He is, of course, none other than Hakari. He appeared way down the manga in the cooling game start. To keep it brief, he is a badass gambler with one of the best abilities yeah. in JJK. Whilst his personality is quite interesting, his swag, his attitude, it's something that we haven't really seen in Jujutsu Kaisen that much. What really caused a lot of people to latch onto him is because of this. Bro, these edits are crazy. Oh my god. God. Edit. This might as well be his domain expansion. The Hakari dance is one of the most popular memes ever. It's everywhere, basically. Even it, on videos that don't- You cannot escape! That, like, it's insane how wild this got. It's really ridiculous. It's redonkulous. It include Jujutsu Kaisen. It just spawns whenever Funk is mentioned. Speaking of memes, remember Choso? Choso collaborated with the Losing My Cat meme, so now he's instantly famous. My guy had one fight, yet he is popular because of his <laughs> mental breakdown. Dude, it's crazy! You have one mental breakdown, you got one viral TikTok, and it's over! Oh my lord. Honestly, he is the spitting image of the fanbase right now. Under normal circumstances, this colossal rise in boom and memes would not have happened. Look at Tokyo Revengers or Attack on Titan. Despite being immensely popular, they don't even compare to Jujutsu Kaisen. That is because- Right, in, in a meme level. I mean, obviously Attack on Titan is still, I think, much bigger. But like, just on a me pure meme level, I don't think any community had this level of just insane brain rot that they just memed everything. I think it stems from the mangaka just having this not give a fuck attitude, just making his story like halfway serious halfway just to troll his audience like the mangaka has such a great perspective just kind of vibing and memeing like just fucking the shonen tropes and just casually just railing everything that this fandom is just incredible it grew out of its own people know the jujutsu kaisen memes and have never seen jujutsu kaisen in manga people are split between two major sides the anime onlys and the manga elitists as a result people are really divided wait, 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 wait. sides the anime onlys and the manga throughout meat and vegetables i alone am the chopped one no elitists as a result people are really divided as to what they actually see and experience but for jujutsu Jujutsu Kaisen, the stars themselves align to have the whole fan base, both the anime onlys and the manga readers, suffer from severe <laughs> True. trauma. And True, they did the Shibuya incident in the anime at the same time. Oh my god. At the same time. You are my special. 
I don't know if it was an intentional PR strategy by MAPPA, but oh boy, it was ingenious. Oh, it worked out so freaking well. Whilst it was genius, that is just half of the story. And halfway point of the video. <gasps> I genuinely want to shoot my The anime side of this meme crisis wasn't all so bad as people united to create genuinely beautiful pieces of art, whether that be redrawing the entire opening or remixing the openings. Other people also made genuinely beautiful and wholesome pieces of art. Oh, oh, oh god, oh I love it, it's like, you'll have someone out here make a wholesome piece of art and then someone else just walks in, dab, says skibbity toilet, depression, kaisen, and then the whole world goes crazy. Jesus, oh jeez! Let's zoom back a bit, because both Jujutsu Kaisen opening 3 and 4 have been memefied to oblivion. You can't even tell what's going on anymore. I could kind of understand opening 3- <laughs> Dude, this is Jujutsu Kaisen, by the way. Because it's light-hearted and easy to troll. But opening 4 is just straight-up depression. It is just depression. Welcome to Depression Kaisen. Lobotomy Kaisen, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be awesome. But people somehow managed to get up, rewrite, redraw, and add so many jokes that you can spend hours doing the Leonardo DiCaprio pointing meme and point out the Jojo the dance, the torture dance out seven different memes every single second but I refuse to do that, I've already rewrote this script like seven times Brother. because new episodes kept on churning out and I've kept on discovering new memes Bro, there's new memes, there's new sub-communities, there's sub-communities within sub-communities I am done with this shit, someone help me well, Jujutsu Kaisen opening 3 is Dude, this is a great video, by the way. Y'all definitely should support Leo Ar Armada. Dude put it together expertly. There's no way I could have navigated through all this shit. Amazing. Opening 4 is where it's at. King News cover, titled Specials, fits so well with the OP. It captures its sheer chaos and stench of death brilliantly. It basically foreshadows, like, half of the cast's death. At this point, I swear, MAPPA themselves are just trolling us. The it's, it's an entire community of trolls. I think that's why people liked it so much. Like, people feel so included. It's awesome. It's awesome. The updated version of the OP has zero characters present because everyone <laughs> fucking- <laughs> They're all dead! Because they're all dead! Died! Oh yeah, hey, hey, oh Nobara, that's, God, a, that's a very interesting pose you got there. Oh, no, no! Uh, I wonder what that entails. Ah! Got him! Got him! It's like, God, God, remember when she was holding her eye? Well, that was because she was shot in the face. Eh? Huh? Foreshadowing? Foreshadowing? Dude, they're just patting themselves on the back. Dude, this whole anime is just like, it's just a 4chan cesspool. It's glorious. And, and the fact that the community took it in stride is just so pleasant. It's basically been two weeks and people are already making fun of Nobara. This community is ruthless. Every character in JJK is getting the smoke, parodies, and slander. Except for one. Nanami. Dude, Nanami, everyone loves him! Like, the only normal character in the whole story. <laughs> Bro, literally, the only normal character. Oh, bad. Bro, actually got that respect. Actually insane. Ah, uh, he looks okay. He'll be fine. Probably. Bruh. It's like, it's so funny. In a realm of characters, you take it from here, bro. In a realm, a, a show that created such a wild and vivid cast, and in a realm of characters just getting completely disrespected in the way that they died, I think that the reason why Nanami really stood out is because he was just a genuinely good man trying his very best. He was never the strongest, but he was always out there just trying. And the craziest part of it all was, he was so respected at the end. Like, even at the very, very end, when it was all go jover they had nothing but respect for that send-off and the community who again just lives to echo the voice and themes that the creator is proposing loved them for it community loved them for it and despite the infinite brain rot the endless void of brain rot that lobotomy kaisen's community managed to develop they still have nothing but love for nanami and that's so wholesome
I, that's why I love fandoms. Fandoms give you a, a reflection of what the show itself is. It gives you a reflection of the thoughts of the creators, uh, and if the creators betray them, then the fandom will not be afraid to speak up and say that they felt betrayed. It's beautiful. You felt like they should have given Nanami more time? Bro, but that's life. Thank you. You are describing it perfectly. Everyone needs more time. And then there's the My Hero Academia community. Yeah! About all of this is how this opening is supposed to be from Sukuna's perspective. Hence why it's so ominous and evil. Lines like, devour everything heartily and can you mess this up even more? Are the type of shit Sukuna would say to troll Yuji. So now with all that considered, how could you possibly make this opening funny? MS Paint. Openings run in the style of MS Paint. Yeah, That's how you get baby. Kanye West in it. Some of these openings have basically every single meme on the planet referenced. From <laughs> literally the dumpy Among Us memes, no! Before Kenjaku, Chainsaw Man, Jojo 2, uh, Kanye West. I kid you not, I rewatch some of these openings like seven times now. And every single time I rewatch it, I discover Brother. something. Hell, recently I just rewatched it for the funsies and I, and I discovered how it has custom English subtitles. Like, they have jokes within jokes within jokes. Bro, these people are actually dude. insane. The meta jokes are getting out of hand. And that is when I was planning to end the video. That was ha <laughs> you fool! You have merely scratched the surface of lobotomy, Kaisen! Once the brain rot begins, the brain rot does not end. It takes hold and it will only grow. It was supposed to be it, but the memes just kept on coming and coming again and again and again. It never- Like me when I have sex with everyone. That wasn't funny. Ends. It just never ends. I started to lose it. I, I don't know what to do anymore. Because yesterday, I accidentally told my friend that I wanted to have the Toji build. As I'm writing this video, I realized that I've been listening to the opening for, for one hour on repeat yeah. on YouTube. Oh my for god, dude, has to stop. Bro is so deep down the brain rot. This guy is, by the fact that he knows all of this, he has become one of them. He got infected. He tried to learn about zombies and accidentally got bitten. This guy, he is the culmination of everything he swore to destroy. Oh no. Page, I see it all the time on Instagram. I hear it all the time. That same fucking meme. When someone invades me in Dark Souls 2, Toji flashes before my eyes. <laughs> You literally can't escape! He's just so- he's finally aware! There is a reason why Choso losing his mind perfectly captures my mental state. Because every single time an episode comes out, new memes are released. Thus, I have to incorporate them into the video. I go- This guy- this guy needs to sleep for a fucking year after this is done. Go in and try to add them into the video, adding more work onto myself. Next thing you know, while I'm doing that, a new episode comes out. So the process just rinses yes! and repeats itself constantly. Yes! It's never ending. When I sleep, I see Jogo. <laughs> no. And this is the cycle of brain rot. Bro, yeah, we need some freaking pain speech right now. See, pain, the cycle never ends. Brain rot only leads to more brain rot. My dreams, when I used to listen to my computer breathe air, it was majestic. Now, I hear it singing, you are my special. Can someone- <laughs> You are my special. You are my special. You, you can go on without me. Explain to me why this guy transformed into Choso. I don't get it. Why? No, no, this is this is getting out of hand. I, I need a break. I need to relax. Uh -oh. Nah, I do win. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Oh my I will god, get it doesn't end. And I will not miss. Don't worry. You are strong. Oh my god, it doesn't stop! You cannot escape! There's no escape. It's just an endless void. The cycle does not end. Help this man! Nah, boss would win! Oh my god, chat. No. Boss would win is not becoming a meme. Ah, we'd win, guys! Oh my fucking god, there's no escape! It's endless! It's endless! Nah, I'd win. I think you got on the wrong team. Nah, we win. Nah, nah, we win. We win. As the yes. curse spirit Gojo once said, oh, please they're stop. strong, but we're stronger. Yeah. It's B, I think. Bro, I'm just watching. No. I do it. <laughs> <laughs> just don't stop. There's no end. The brain rot is so real. It's so real, bro. Nah, boss would win. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Get some help. Nah. 
Nah, they win, bro. As the cursed spirit Gojo camped in the corner, he said, Nah, I'd win. Nah. <laughs> you just say nah and it's over. There's no end to lobotomy, Kaisen. There is merely new beginnings. As the great lobotomizer once said, Nah, I'd lobotomize. The f are you doing, you schizo? Nah, I'll do it. The worst part is the meme's getting old. And that makes it better! The reason why Nah I'd Win is so good is because it's never been funny! Nah I'd Win has never been funny! That's why it's still here! If it was funny and got overused and it would have lost its humor, people wouldn't be into it. It's the fact that Nah I'd Win was never funny that people are still using it. It's an ironic meme. The most powerful and dangerous of all memes. It is a hemorrhoid of memes. Sit there just to latch onto your butt forever. As the great lobotomizer once said, nah, win eyed. <laughs> That's the worst fing part about this. It's no longer funny. <laughs> and you're just going It's to never been funny! Say it. You can cut this out, but I'm giving you free content here, so shut the fuck up. Oh, oh you're giving me mental torment. That's what you're giving me. <laughs> Free content, my. You can't even say the word nah anymore. Like you just say nah, and then you look at him, and it's over. It's go Joe over. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> I bet the pinned comments is just gonna be nah. I fuck my mother or something. Shit. Okay, all right, never mind, bro. All right, dude. Guys, subscribe to this man. He deserves it. Man put his soul and boner into this fucking video. Definitely check out Leo Armada. I have nothing but respect for this content. Off. <laughs> You are my special. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> you are my special. By combining red. By combining the left side of my hemisphere and the right side of my hemisphere. Hemisphere. The, the right side of my brain and the left side of my brain. Dude, I am, I am so out of it, bro. Nah, I had brain rot, bro. Nah. And purple. <laughs> you create imaginary mass. Imaginary technique, your mom. Imagine, <laughs> imaginary technique, your dad. <laughs> <laughs> what the treasure I summoned, your dad. Oh my god, dude. It's over. It's over, dude. These people, they've hit the other side. He went from denial to acceptance over the course of a minute. He left with this treasure. I summoned the clitoris. Never seen before by man. Never found. A non-existing entity that only existed in imaginary played <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Nugs got lobotomized. <laughs> Bro. I, I, I split your right ass cheek and your left ass cheek as I lobotomize your asshole. <laughs> With this treasure, I summon bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the bitchless curse the spirit. <laughs> With this treasure, I summon it, It's Carl! Your family this is love. brain rot. <laughs> 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 nah, I'd aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good one. <laughs> oh my god, bro. With this treasure, I summon chat going to my Patreon and giving me money instead of just asking me to watch Adventure Time and my freaking calling me Nux Panties. Uh, <laughs> this is how JJK fans feel. Dude, th this is the JJK fan experience. This is the brain rot experience. Domain expansion, lobotomy void. That's just it. It's just over. It is just literally over. With this treasure, I now summon whip not working guy. i get it now i understand they cope via memes i get it now i alone am the fraudulent i alone am the lobotomized one i alone fucked your mama i don't know how I this happened them. but I after all of that he somehow coerced me into reacting to uh, jjk I, I memes treasure, for hours and here is where i found about the malevolent kitchen incident oh. it's not even pink this raw What? I alone am fucking everyone! Alright, dude. Yoichi <laughs> Tenkai. Kuma Mizushi. What? How is this? How is this a meme? I don't understand. It's not even pink, this is raw! 
Sukuna's domain expansion, Malevolent Shrine, appeared once more in the fight against Mahoraga. This amazing sequence of frames illustrated by the dead souls over at Mappa was 30% complete, yet it cooked. It very much cooked. It cooked so hard that the subtitle actually called Sukuna's domain Malevolent Kitchen. Uh oh. I guess everyone involved with JJK are losing their minds. <laughs> Even the professionals and sub. <laughs> Even the. Everyone's just fucking crazy, bro. This this is how the freaking Dragon Maid girls was talking about the patriarchy all over. Again. Producers are losing their fucking minds. And this is where I was planning to end the video for a second time, but then I sank even deeper into despair. Oh as my god! This episode dropped. Mahito, after taking away Nobara, Nanami and trolling us for so long, finally makes his last stance against Ryuji, transforming into his evolved, true and powerful state. And he loses. Badly. Yuji finally has Mahito on the boat. Yes! As this beautiful scene plays yes. out. Nah, I'd cook. Mahito has <laughs> now become the prey. This scene was honestly amazing. And the it's actually peak. Peak fucking fantasy. That, that's why I'm telling you I want to do a series just um, overanalyzing Jujutsu Kaisen, going episode by episode, talking about why it's so good, like on a thematic perspective. Uh, I really do want to do that, and of course, leave a like if you want me to, because that's up to you. The community shares the sentiment, as the edits for this actually hit very hard. The community cooked with this, and not in the bad way either. They didn't memeify it yet. As people actually put the Skyfall OST over the entire sequence. This hits so hard. When it comes as you stand up, together, the sky when it comes. And it's like beautiful and everyone lo loves it and it's amazing and then like then it just goes straight hard 180 into lobotomy territory and you're fucking going out of your mind. It has now become known as the Itadori song. I'm kind of pissed that <laughs> Skyfall became the Itadori song. Bro that's just brain rotting the other way. <laughs> Dude, that's just brain rot the other direction, man. Remember when Jujutsu Kaisen invented Skyfall? Dude, remember when Jujutsu Kaisen made James Bond? But didn't use this as their actual background music? It simply fits so perfectly. But you know what also fits very perfectly with JJK? Depression. But thankfully, their memes yes! don't help. Yes! Memes don't help. Like, a lot of people think that memes are an escapist way to get away from depression. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Not these memes. Not these memes. Every time you see Nah, I'd win, you're reminded by the fact that he did not. Like, <laughs> Nah, I'd win is incredibly ironic. The Nah, I'd win meme is levels of irony upon irony. This has been Depression Kaisen, ladies and gentlemen. And we are here for it. You watch them for long enough, they will cause lobotomy. And well, uh, the funnies become... Schizophrenia. The comedy has become mental anguish, ladies and gentlemen. Lost my mind. What? What is happening? What is. Oh my god. What is this meme? How did this become a meme? This entire Jujutsu Kaisen situation has been insane. Just to see the fandom mirror just the actual chaos that the creator made, I think it's it should be looked at as a sign of pride and joy. It should be looked at as glorious. This is my favorite anime fandom of all time, probably. Leave a like if you want me to do an over and over analyzing every episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, let me know if you want that kind of thing. Not sure if I'll do it yet. Let me know. But even more importantly, nah, you'd like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.